My name is Bruno Faini. I am the project manager for Habitat for Humanity for this 3D printed house project. The printer works in a sense similar to what a small scale 3D printer works. I would say the main difference is the material we work with. So to work with concrete, you need fine tuning on the uh, proportion of the materials, temperature, water content. It's hard to get a good material from the start, so it needs developing and it needs testing with this material. But once we get going with the material, I, I think in a sense it works just as any 3D printer would work. The walls are made out of uh, concrete and it would be regular concrete if not for the hardener that we use to make it stackable. So this like adds a special chemical to the pump, to the concrete in the front head there. Uh, and then it like stiffens the concrete quickly so that when it's being extruded it's actually retained its shape. If it's just regular concrete, as soon as you put another layer on top of the first one, it would sag and, and collapse. We just give enough time for the printer to go around so the concrete can harden and we can put another layer on top of it. And then we repeat this process over and over until we get to the height that we want. It would take something about 10 to 30 minutes for each layer to harden and so we can stack on top of the other one. The cordon that we're using, originally we were going to have the open cavity and a full view of what we were doing. Correct. So plan B is same material, yes. but with a camera to make sure that Correct. there's no gap. Correct. Like a surgery. Are you, and you're comfortable with that? Yeah. Like a surgery. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Now that the walls are up, they will receive insulation on the exterior walls and that's the reason they're broader and they're hollow so then we can come from the top with a hose and pour in the insulation that's going to expand. After the insulation, we're going to start with the roofing and then once this is done we can work on the exterior and interior finishing. So the trusses are already here on site, they're going to be wooden trusses. And then from this point on, everything is going to be, in a sense, regular construction. Roof is going Next week. Yeah. And there's I'm no so way, excited there's for no the way for us to have, I don't think, regardless of which application method we choose, I don't think there's a possibility for us to have it sooner than next week. Yeah. So, so we may as point, well just do the roof. The roof goes ahead, and we work with it after. And then you guys go back to whoever has any ability to speed things up and say, this is so important. This is yeah. like... The this is the first multi-unit in North America, and yep. we're going to do it. <laughs> it's exciting to be one of the first to experience this technology. Yeah, I'm excited both on personal and on a professional level. And this is new, so everything here that we faced a, a roadblock, we had to come with new and inventive ideas. We, we couldn't just look what people did before because that has never been done in Canada. Yeah, okay. and, and that's a big part of why I wanted these gentlemen here as well, because they could give their insight. If there's something that I'm saying to you that isn't possible, I want them to say that, but right. they're telling me that it is a possibility. So now it's a matter of how quickly we can get something in line for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. On top of the house, we also uh, had some uh, test specimens being made here that are going to be tested in the University of Windsor. So this is not just the first house, it's also a big step towards the research and development of this technology. Yeah. Having these uh, university candidates, doctoral candidates on has been amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 The research from this is going to be uh, he will first love in it. the world, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be huge. Important it is. So That's he knows. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And printed and using two, two materials, two material, but also using conventional concrete as well. Yes. Yeah. I think it just adds to the excitement that this is a Habitat for Humanity project. I'm sure this is a project that will help families to, to find a place to call their home.